For those of you that missed this week's episode of Shadow Spark Chronicles, here's what happened. Bishop Marslin enter the academy and eventually find Drisk, who grants Marslin permission to the second floor. Showing almost unusual constraint, he pulls Bishop aside and divulges that he found the seventh Shadow Spark book. This triggers a memory in Bishop that he was at Yargish when it first fell. Once on the second floor, Marslin and Bishop run into Drusilla. They enter a private chamber inside a book. Drusilla thinks that the war on Yargish had to do with the ley lines going underneath the area. She was stunned when Bishop revealed that they had invaded the Matron Mother's palace and warned the party to watch their back. After seeing the gauntlet that almost killed Bishop, she informs him that the gauntlet is somehow connected to the Shadow of Sparks. Marslin also discovers his heir in putting on the magical item, the Eye of Expansion. She informs him he must seek a priest. They talk briefly of the Ouroborium where Colton Frost lives. While Justinian goes shopping, Quentin is struggling with his faith and meets with Cluster. During their conversation, a new character, Anaximander Starward, bursts in and demands to know if Cluster has talked with True Silver. Anaximander explains that he is still not able to communicate directly with Tyr. Eventually, Bishop walks into this not-so-private meeting and tells Cluster about Quentin's struggling faith. Eventually, Cluster pawns Anaximander off on Quentin and the rest of the team when they decide that they are going to honor their word to the Academy and visit Yargish. While that transpires, Marzalyn ventures to the third floor of the Academy. Please join us every Monday at 7 p.m. for the continued adventures of the Shadow Spark Chronicles. And as always, we'll see you in the dungeon.